Today's song is Stitches by Shawn Mendes. As usual, we're going to start with a song structure to break down the different parts we need to learn in this song. In this song, we've got a verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then another verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then a bridge, then a chorus, and then an outro. This is just about the most basic song structure you can get, and you'll find it in many, many modern songs. It's the most popular song structure you'll find in songs today. We can bring this into four different guitar parts. The verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and bridge. And we're using the same four chords for the entire song, just in different orders. Learn the song even quicker by checking out the link in the description below, where you can follow along with this tutorial, but also get lyrics and chords on top of them and any other cool things covered in this video. So tune up your guitar, put your capo on your first fret, and we're ready to go. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up or a comment in the comment section below. Your feedback is what gives me the motivation to keep making more videos. As well, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get access to all my latest content straight on your YouTube homepage. In this song, we've got a minor, G, C, and F. So let's start off with a verse. So this isn't too complicated. We're playing on the one and the and on beat one. And then for beats two to four, we're just playing on the and. And we're playing each chord for one bar. So counting along, this is gonna look like this. One and two. And three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and that's all there is to it. So moving on to the pre-chorus, our chord progression this time is F, G, A minor, then G. So in this one, we're playing each chord for one bar, same as the verse, and we're going to play on the one and the two, then in the third and fourth beats, we're going to play on the beat and the end. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four, and switch chords. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, Three and four and that's all there is to it. Moving on to the chorus. 
We're now back to our same chord progression as in the verse with A minor, G, C, F. So what are we doing here? We're playing on the one, two, and the and of three, then four and, and then we switch chords. So that's going to look like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Now, finally, the bridge. So our chord progression for the bridge is the same as the verse in the chorus. A minor, G, C, F. But what I'm doing here is palm muting on the one and the and of each beat. Palm muting, if you don't know, is taking your palm, the side of it right there, and placing it right against the bridge of your guitar. So you're going to put it right on there. So your goal is to get it so that it's not entirely muted, but it's also not totally open. You want a partially muted effect, which gives kind of an interesting sound. And this is a pretty common technique if you've never seen it before. And all we're going to do is play on the beat and the and. So what that's going to look like is this. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if you've never done palm muting before, it's going to take you a little bit to get the hang of. But once you do get the hang of it, it should be pretty easy to do, and it adds a nice effect to a lot of songs. And if you can play those four parts, you can play the entire song. Did you like this video? Well, then you better hit the subscribe button right now so you get access to all my latest content right when I upload it on your YouTube homepage. Once you've done that, click on this video or that video and launch your next guitar adventure.